Get ready for the ultimate Ice Speaking Challenge. Anika and Fatin, the Ice Speaking Pros, go head to head in a battle of words. I'll ask them a series of challenging questions and we'll determine who is the ultimate winner. It's a linguistic clash like never before. Let the showdown begin. So, Anika and Fatin, are you ready? Yes. yes. So let's get started. My first question is, what type of music do you like to listen to? Okay, Anika, would you please? Um, I'm not a big music listener, but sometimes I do like to listen to music. For example, I like Bangla folk songs sometimes. And then I also like to listen to um, 50s classics. If I talk about recent time artists, then I like Aurora and Joji. Fatin, would you please? Start. Well, for me, I'm not uh, that much into music as well, but uh, only I guess while working or training, uh, I listen to mostly uh, hip hop. And if I talk about the old music, then the 80s hip hop and a few metal songs. Right now, I don't have a specific band on mind, but if I talk about them, I would say Iron Maiden. They are my favorite. Second question is At what times of day do you like to listen to music? <laughs> okay, Fatin, please. Mostly it fits at night or I guess there's no specific timetable for it. But yeah, uh, I guess in the afternoon while I'm working or I'm just uh, somewhere taking a walk or in long drives, I guess that part of the day or mostly at night. It's quiet. So yeah, that is the time I listen to music. Okay, Anika, it's your turn. Well, like I mentioned earlier, it's not listening to music is not a part of my daily routine. But sometimes when I do listen to music, I think yeah, I think it's mostly at during the night or also during the evenings when I'm like having a cup of tea or trying to relax. Did you learn to play a musical instrument when you were a child? Ah, you please. Okay, so I didn't learn to play any specific instrument because as I said, not that much into music, but it's depending on the times. But uh, for specifics, I've learned drums actually, but uh, that was on my own. So I was used, I used to like play on the drum, drums, so that freehand style helped me a lot through understanding that one instrument, that's all. Okay, Anika? Um, for me, um, right now I don't really play any instruments, but when I was younger, I, the, the first instrument that I learned to play is a harmonium. And then after that, I tried guitar for a bit, for like around two months. And then I tried learning the violin, which I'm still trying to learn. Okay, the next question is, do you think all children should learn to play a musical instrument? Yes, Anika. I think it depends. Uh, music does help a child um, grow and it does help to develop their brain but I don't think every child needs to learn to play music. There are alternatives to it as well. Um, but I think playing one instrument could help their um, recognitions and could help them uh, grow faster. Okay. And you, Fatin? Well, uh, I guess I think the more or less in the same way because Playing a specific instrument doesn't mean you have to play, it has to be an instrument, musical instrument can be something else of course. But yes, in a way it just you know, relaxes the mind, so it increases the focus I guess, that's also a big part of it. So yeah, it's also up to the child itself and also their parents as well, if they want to teach their children any musical instrument, then yes of course. If they're not, then no. So this is the end of the part one, let's move on to part two. Uh, you have to describe a shop near where you live that you use sometimes. Um, Tanvi, would you please give them the cue card and the pencil and the pen? Please. Thank you.
So your time is up and who would like to start first? I can go first. Please, Anika. Okay. So a shop near where I live is called CSD, which stands for Canteen Stores and Department. Um, it has a super shop, there's a cafe there as well, and there's also pharmacies there. So in this shop, there are a lot of items. And it is, uh, since it is very close to where I live, it is very convenient for me to just walk there and grab what I want. Um, there are groceries in here. You can buy rice, you can buy uh, meat and fish as well. There are snacks too. You can, along with all those things, you can also buy cosmetic items from here. Um, this uh, shop is a large hall and uh, each sections are divided into different aisles. And all those aisles are tagged so that it is easier for you to navigate throughout the shop. Um, the shop is near, uh, the shop is located in Maple DOHS um, and I use the shop uh, for my daily necessities. I also use it, use, it, use it to grab a quick lunch if I want in the cafe. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes if I need medicines, I use this shop as well. Okay, awesome. Fatin, would you please start? Okay, so the shop that I mostly use, it's actually two blocks away from my home. And as I live at Uttara, it's a very distant place from every single sound and noises but it also is distant from most stores and shops that's why it's convenient for me to go there so it's a convenient it's a grocery shop but it also has a medicine medicine shop just at the opposite of it and this provide a service that's uh, very useful in case of emergencies because they have an online transit option so the money transfer if in emergency cases I can withdraw the money from there or I can send it so that's a very helpful option for me and it's actually quite big and it doesn't take up more places than uh, one and a half block. It's uh, spacious and it's arranged because you don't usually see this kind of local stores that much arranged but it is very arranged and I like to go there because it's accessible from my home and it's a short distance and it uh, more or less uh, provides all the things I need and it fulfills every single demand. So in a quick emergency situation, I can just go down and I can just get my things from there. And their services are very uh, A-graded and they're quite helpful. So yeah. That's... So thank you very much. This is the end of part two. Would you please give it back to Tanfir? Thank you. Let's move on to part three. And I have several questions in this part. First question is, why do some people want to start their own business? Fatin. Nowadays, it's like a trend to start your own business, like entrepreneurship, because people think that starting, your, you know, you can be the boss of your own. So this, this concept actually grabbing everybody's mind. So they're more interested in or invested into starting something new from scratch, which is good, but also it has its negative points as well. Because the perks you see as a boss from a company, you can not see them as a service holder from the same company. But people get a lot of perspective when they start a business and, you know, seeing the world from a different view, like that luxurious lifestyle that can come from owning a business or that title, that sense of responsibility or the sense of idealment is very in reach in between people right now. That's why they use it. Okay. Okay. So, Anika, it's your turn. Yeah. I think nowadays people are uh, moving toward being more self-dependent. They want to rely on themselves more, I think. Uh, that's one of the reasons why people are starting their own business. For example, I too would like to have my own business one day. And I think the reason for me personally is that um, I would like to, I would like to, um, you know, not really have anyone tell me what to do. I would, I can do whatever I want. And I think that is also a reason for a lot of people why they want to do it themselves. Also, um, I think making money is also one of the big reasons. Um, now the employment market is probably not that good. So people are trying to be, you know, entrepreneurs and um, sell, create employment for other people. Okay. My next question is, are there any disadvantages of running a business? Yes, Anika, please. 
Well, yes, I think there are several disadvantages mm -hmm. of running a business. For example, first of all, I would like to talk about work-life balance. Mm -hmm. So when you work for somebody, I think you go to the office and you do it and then you come back home and that's done. But when you are a business person, the office is in your head. So you're like at work all day. So there may be some difficulties uh, for the work-life balance. Uh, along with that, I think um, it is it is it is not a very easy thing to do. It is a very challenging thing to do. Um, starting a business um, on your own it it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of hard work, and it also takes a lot of um, networking as well. You have to engage with a lot of people, which is not a very easy thing to do. So yeah, I think it does come with its own challenges. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Fatin, would you please? Yes, well, I have more or less the same points as Anika because. Starting a business requires a certain amount of perspective and a certain amount of mindset. But with that, there are some disadvantages as well. But the three most disadvantages that I, you can see every single place are time management and the marketing area and also the commitment. Because with time, they have to manage the time that they have to take a deal or fulfill a certain amount of uh, their ratio of work or the output at a certain time. And in case of marketing, they have to, yes, as uh, it's been already said, that networking is very important. But the level of marketing right now is uh, very, you know, it's very challenging. So you have to come up with new ideas every single day or almost every single minute to generate a business. And the last one, commitment, because nowadays it's pretty hard to find, you you know, to run a business, you need commitment from your people or you need commitment from the uh, your staff as well. So that's also very hard to find right now. So these are the uh, most challenging faces that people are facing right now. Okay, thank you. The last question is, what are the most important qualities a good businessman needs to have? Yes, you please. To start a business or being someone who owns a business, it, they need actually three things once again. They need the sense of accomplishment, they need their will, power, and they need to have time management. Um, starting from the bottom, I would say the time management because they need to understand how to utilize their time, not just I have to finish my task. No, they have to finish the task with a certain responsibility and a certain, f uh, you know, like uh, fabricating it and also refurbish your work. So it's a polished work done. And the second one is they have to be committed to what they're doing. They have to understand that, yes, I, if I'm going to do it, then it has to be done in a sensible way and it has to be approached in a more clean way. And the third one is the sensible, the uh, sense of responsibility coming with the commitment as well. Because without commitment, time management, you cannot do with this, uh, do any kind of job, especially in running your own business. But having a sense of accomplishment that, yes, I don't have to take the extra pressure or don't stress about everything. Keep an open mind and walk. So that's a part of it. Okay, thank you. Uh, Anika, it's your turn. Yeah. So I think the most important quality that a businessman needs, I think it's resilience. Because a lot of hurdles comes along when you start a business. So it is very important to stick to your goal and just have one fixed mindset that you are going to accomplish something. So I think resilience is a very important uh, uh, characteristic. Along with that, I think it is very important for a business person uh, to be generous as well. I, it's, uh, I think nowadays uh, our world has become very commercial, but I think if you have to have a good business, you have to give as well. Mm -hmm. It is very important that you provide uh, a good service. Along with that, um, if you want help from somebody, because without help, it is not possible to have a successful business, you have to help others as well. So there's that. And um, another thing I think is um, you, uh, like, um, I, I think it is, um, you have to stick to your goal and it is very important that you have a, ha you are optimistic and you do not um, get saddened or you do not uh, lose your hope if hurdles come along. Thank you Fatin and Anika for joining us. Thank you very much and good luck to you. Thanks for having us. Thank you.